How do you differentiate this? You have a constant to the power of x, your input. What are you gonna do? Well, let me show you. It's pretty simple. So if we have the derivative for any constant, now I'm gonna say a is a constant and x is our input, what you're gonna do in this case, it's pretty simple. You're just going to write the exact same expression that you have times the derivative of the exponent and times the natural logarithm of the, of the constant, okay? This is very similar uh, to, the, the, to the rule for differentiating e to the x, and it is actually, well, if you, if you have seen it, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, but there is something else. You also have x prime times natural log of e. The thing is, um, you, you can see it's the same thing they have, that we have on top. The thing is, x, x prime goes to 1, and natural log of e is also 1. So we just say that not the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. But, well, we know that e is a constant, okay? e, well, it's, it has the same nature, it's a, it's a number the same as if we had, for example, 2, okay? Or any constant a, for example. You're going to follow the exact same rule, but, well, it's going to have different implications. When you do not have e, uh, you're going to follow this, so you need to be careful with natural log of your base. But if you have e, well, you can just simply forget about ln e because it's just going to be 1, okay? Now let's do some examples. What is the derivative of 2 to the 10x? Well, we know, first of all, we need to write again this expression. So we get 2 to the 10x times the derivative on top. Oh, well, on top now the exponent. So we have uh, 10 times the natural log of 2. Natural log of 2, this is our answer. Let's do this example. What is the derivative of 4 to the 3x? How much is this? Well, we know we need to rewrite again the first expression that we have, and then multiply it by the derivative of the exponent, which is just going to be 3 times the natural log of 4, okay? Because 4 is the base that we have. Remember, this is the pattern that we need to follow. Now, how can we simplify this? Well, one thing you can do is that, in this case, uh, 4 to the 3x is the same as if you had 4 to the third power to the x power, okay? And we know this is going to be uh, 16 times 4, uh, 32, 64, so 64 to the x power. And now uh, we could leave it like that, actually. Well, just leave, leave this in this form, and then just simply say that this is uh, 3 times natural log of 4 uh, times, yeah. Notation is not the best, actually. Natural log should go uh, in the last plate, but you understand it. Times 64 to the x power, okay? This is like the most concise form, actually. Sometimes when you have these problems, try not to leave any coefficients in the exponent, okay? If it is possible. If you have this, try to simplify it to something like this, okay? Now let's do one more example. Now let's do the derivative of uh, a to the square root x, okay? In this case, a is going to be a constant. So now we know this is just simply going to be a square root x times the derivative of the exponent. We know that it's just going to be 1 over 2 square root x times the natural logarithm of the base, which is ln a. Now in this case, what you can do is just simply, yeah, just multiply everything. So you're going to have a square root x times ln a over times square root x. This is your answer for this derivative right there.